The interesting thing is, and from all the shots that I've hit so far, is sound and feel and sort of power that you feel out of the face. The ball's flying. <laughs> Yeah, so back to the story. What's the what's the story Callaway are telling us about the um, the technology that's packed into this Max Driver? And it is a big story, and it's one that no doubt you'll already heard. I'm going to repeat it very very quickly. It's about AI, artificial intelligence, the supercomputer, and what it's done. And what I like in a very positive way, what Callaway have done here is this idea of building bespoke product, bespoke club head, if you like, in terms of specific design to meet specific requirements. The Max product is, is the one that's got the draw bias. It's probably more traditional in this sort of MOI placed well at the back. Uh, it's going to be more for people that, A, like I said, have got a big slice in the game looking for that draw bias, and B, are looking for a bit of help and assistance in terms of launch. Again, AI has designed a specific club face for that sort of variable pattern, strike pattern that you might see for the type of player that might use this driver and the type of positions that they might hit on a club face. Um, and again, looking to achieve ball speeds across that club face, which I think they've done very well, and we'll get to the dry ball data soon. But I think the Max Driver, the one thing you're looking for from it, it's very simple. Artificial intelligence design a product with face and head shape combined that's going to produce high ball speeds across the club face, very, very forgiving, and assist with launch. And if you want those things, then this is going to be one to consider. You've heard the kind of the story behind these clubs in terms of uh, AI and supercomputer and what it does. I think for me, I think everything needs a story in terms of marketing. Whether you then choose to believe the story or the hype, whatever you want to call it, is down to you. But I think it's important that Callaway get across a message of what work is going into these in terms of um, technology. Um, and like I said, whether you believe it or not is then up to you. But what they've done with these faces, uh, in, they're very much three individually designed club heads. And I think they're very specific to an individual uh, swing requirements. They'll appeal to different levels. And I think that's a good thing. You know, these are very different clubs. Uh, but they do each perform very, very differently. There is no doubt about that at all. And that's to me, is very, very important. And it's key. Um, but I say the same thing. I played this course for the last two days. And I've largely been playing uh, three wood off the tee and reviewing the three wood. But in terms of yardage gains in where we've or where I've landed so far, that the club is, and I've not seen dry ball data. Like I said, we'll get to that at the very end. Uh, but the club is performing really, really well. But not only is it doing, uh, is it travelling. More importantly. I'm finding fairways and there's not a great deal sort of uh, left and right. However, when I say found fairways, I've just found a bunker with the max off the tee. But again, very positive uh, from me at the moment with these uh, clubs, I've got to say. That's a decent enough dig and a decent enough carry as well. It's certainly shifted out there, but it did go down the left-hand side. And one of the things I want to mention about that left is that with the max, it's uh, it's certainly um, draw bias. There's a bit of weight in at the heel end as well as at the back, and it's slightly shut uh, in terms of offset and address. And for me, on a personal level, it's a massively different overall profile and shape from that of the regular driver. Right. So overall summary for the performance of the max driver, both uh, here I've carried on testing at Conway, and obviously you've seen what I've done there in Amanduera. Uh, the sort of it, it is not it is an offset driver it is a draw bias driver you can swap those weights around there's a 14 gram and a two gram which will sort of change that slightly but for me as it stood i did struggle to get it it was going a bit left for me and uh, a bit too shut like i said for me on a personal level but in terms of performance dry ball data again it kind of very consistent in the sort of mid 240 carry it did spin higher it was more that 3000 revs of spin which isn't too bad to be fair but that did impact on 
um, the sort of carry distance and we did have a sort of quite a high ball speed still at that 148 off 98 mile an hour which is really a, a decent ball speed off of the uh, club head speed and my swing speed but we just lost a little bit in terms of carry distance with that balance of um, of spin and also launching in about 12 and a half I think it was you've got those numbers in front of you now I've, uh, I've not got them uh, but the overall summary is this Superb product, very different in terms of sound and feel from other clubs that are out there at the moment. It's a more muted, softer sound. I think they're the things that are going to appeal to you. Again, if you're looking for that draw bias, it's one for you. Uh, but overall, a very, very good product. AI is doing a good job. And it'll be interesting to see how much further this goes to develop bespoke head uh, face designs for specific golfers and less about kind of our own adjustability and what we've seen in the club head designs in the past. Anyway, as ever, thank you for watching. Important thing is one simple message. Get out there and try it yourself because that's all that matters. Right, I'll see you soon.